everybody in this video we are going to learn what is a group group is a very important concept you study in abstract algebra we're going to look at some examples and non examples of groups and also get to know how to prove a set is a group so let's get started and yeah please subscribe to make sure your maths teacher never gets mad at you first of all let's see the definition of the group a group G is basically a set which is closed under the binary operation toric along with four other conditions which I will explain in a little while. But before that, let me tell you what a binary operation is. So a binary operation is any operation on a non-empty set that by applying on two elements of that set gives a unique element also from the same set. You can also watch the detailed video on binary operation linked in the description box down below. Also, the notation for a group G under a binary operation staric is this G comma staric enclosed in parenthesis. Now, let's move towards the four axioms which are required for a group. First and foremost, a set needs to be closed under the binary operation staric which means when staric is applied on any two elements of the set G, the result must belongs to the set G. And this has to be true for all the elements of the set G. Second axiom is associativity. The set has to fulfill this property in order to form a group. Third axiom is about existence of identity element in the set. We try and find the identity element as well as the inverses of every element of a finite set using Kelly table, which we will discuss in the example part of this video. Speaking of inverses, the fourth axiom of a group is having the inverse of each and every single element of the set. Now let's move towards the interesting part of this video, which is solving example. Okay, so we need to prove that S is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus iota is a group under multiplication. But before moving on to the proof, I am thinking, can we prove S is a group under addition? Think about it. Yes or no? Comment your answer down below. Also give me the reason for your answer. Okay, for finite sets, we draw Kelly table. You might be familiar with it because scalar table is similar to truth table. The purpose of scalar table is to find out all the possible products of the elements of the set. Okay, this is the scalar table for set S right here. The scalar table does not only serve the purpose of finding out whether a set is closed under binary operation or not, but it also helps in proving associativity, finding identity element for the set, and as well as the inverse of every single element in the set. All right, the first property is closure. As you can see, every two elements in S being multiplied with each other gives a unique answer that also belongs to S. Hence, S is closed under multiplication. Next property is associativity. As we can see from the Cayley table that the elements of the set S gives the same answer no matter how we group them by placing the parenthesis around them. And also we know that the binary operations addition and multiplication are associative for real and complex numbers both so that's a given. And hence, we can say S is associative under multiplication. The third axiom is existence of identity element. We need to find the row that has the elements of the set in the same order as they are written in the top row. And the element corresponding to that row is the identity of that set. You can also do the same for uh, columns as well. So one is the identity element here and we have shown that on multiplying it with every other element of the set, we get that element 
again fourth and last axiom of a group is existence of inverse of every element and guess what we find inverses by using Cayley table what a surprise so we look for the elements that gives identity one on multiplying so those elements are the inverses of each other so we can see that all the elements of s has inverses in s so as we have shown s is closed associative have identity element in it and inverses of all elements exist in s hence s qualifies to form a group now it's time to find the answer of our burning question is s a group under addition or not so the answer is absolutely no but why if you haven't figured it out then let's draw its scalar table they say when in doubt draw a Cayley table no 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 they're not they're, they're not so as we started making the table you can see immediately that s is not closed under addition as 1 plus 1 equals to 2 does not belong to s so s is not a group under addition so that's it for the video i hope you learned something from it and i hope you guys enjoyed so i will see you guys all in my next video till then bye